This is Ari, Gwendolyn and Brynifer. They are in a polyamorous relationship. So yeah guys, so basically a few days ago, right, I found this video that's titled We are raising our kids with no gender, my extraordinary family. It's like, holy shit dude, this video is just total bullshit. Why would you do that to your kids? Uh, that's just like, it's, it's not kind of like child abuse in a way. I don't know, I really don't know how this shit works, but I just find this just cringe and just really awful to do to your kids. We have a two-year-old anti-gender baby and a ten-year-old who is non-binary. They have chosen not to disclose Barrow's gender. We don't know it yet. It's something that Sparrow's gonna have to figure out and then tell us. You and your husbands are fucked up in the head for doing this, for pushing your issues onto children. This is just fucked up. But their parenting approach is controversial. I have literally received death threats. Crazy, crazy lady. I hope Car Okay, yeah, no, dude. The death threats are a little bit too far, but still, though, her and her husbands, they're all deranged. Let their children choose their gender. And for their oldest ch child, Hazel, that's neither male nor female. Yeah, dude, I hope you know that the name Hazel, it's literally a female name. So, yeah, you gave her a female identity. But anyways, yeah, their parents are literally stuck in the stew of their own, like, gender dysphoria, and they're, like, inflicting it onto, onto their own kids. It's, like, very fucked up. You don't do that to your kids. You do not push your issues onto your children, all right? You're literally just ruining their psyche. You're literally just fucked up in the head. Honestly, dude, their children should be taken away from them for doing this shit to them. It's just honestly disgusting. And also, I forgot to mention, your role as parents is to teaching and guiding your children, and not let them decide for themselves on everything. And that also goes for gender. You gotta tell them what gender they were born as. Please tell us how and why you decided to come out as non-binary. Because the pronouns... And two and a half year old Sparrow has yet to make a choice about their gender. Sparrow, do you want a banana? Yeah. They're anti-gender, but we're using they them pronouns. What the fuck? They're calling their two year old child! They, them, what the hell? They're fucking pushing this onto a two-year-old. This is like really just messed up, okay? Her brain is literally barely developing. She's barely out of the fetus. This, this is just screwed up. Is this even legal? This shit should just be made illegal. Just imagine pushing this onto a fucking two-year-old. This is fucked up. Honestly, this is just beyond me what they're doing to these children. These children should be taken away from them. These, these people are just deranged for doing this to these kids. It's just fucked. This is not how you parent your children. This is child abuse, what you're doing here. And once these children hit their teenage years, they're gonna face a lot of trouble and a lot of fucking challenges. All thanks to their parents. And why, you may ask? Because they are ruining their psyche. Sure, they have anatomy, we understand it, but like, that's not indicative of their identity. It's something that Sparrow's gonna have to figure out and then tell us. You are deranged. It's before we can tell anyone else. Oh, um. Particularly. Anyways, guys, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. I kind of want to go watch another horror movie. I mean, upload this video first and then go watch another horror movie. Uh, I don't know. I may just rewatch Evil Dead Rise because it's too fucking good. I don't know, man. But I'll probably go find a another good horror movie that's just as good as Evil Dead Rise. Um, but yeah. Anyways, guys, you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe and like. And yeah, I'll see you guys next one.